It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today's video is on the Andy Griffith Show's goober, actor George Lindsay. Uh, never forgave this co-star for humiliating him. And I don't think it's who you might think it is. Um, let's take a look. Uh, one of the incidents occurred between Goober and uh, actor George Lindsay and another cast member who embarrassed him on the set. Um, one of the most popular characters on the Andy Griffith Show was indisputably the sweet and naive Gomer Powell. The role originally was slated for Lindsay, who was de deflated when uh, it instead went to Neighbors, a nightclub performer with absolutely no acting experience. After Griffith attended one of Neighbors' performances, he was convinced only Neighbors could be Gomer Powell. Uh, he contacted show producer, producer Aaron Rubin to wait on hiring Lindsay for the role until he and show creator Shel Sheldon Leonard had seen Neighbors for themselves. According to Andy and Don, the making of a friendship and classic American TV show author Daniel Devise, Rubin recalled, so in comes uh, Jim Neighbors. He has a script. He reads what he lacked in professionalism and experience he made up for with a certain naive charm that he had. In addition to being set aside in favors of Neighbors, Goober actor revealed in his memoir, Goober in a Nutshell, an incident involving Francis Bobby A., who portrayed Aunt B. on the comedy. Uh, her behavior caught the attention of another castmate. One instance I remember in particular was an episode of Mayberry RFD titled The, Hor the Race Horse. Lindsay wrote, We were doing a scene on a racetrack set, and me with my foul mouth, I was cursing and cutting up. The camera wasn't going, of course. Well, Frances wasn't going to stand for still for that, and she turned around and whopped me on the head with her umbrella and proceeded to lecture me. After scolding him, Bobby A. smashed Lindsay once again on the head with her umbrella. Her behavior dismayed Ken Berry, the actor's co-star. Later, Ken Berry, who played Sam Jones, came up to me and said, That wasn't right, what Francis did. I'm sorry I didn't say something to her. She shouldn't have done that. He was really irate that she would do that to me. And he was right. She shouldn't have done that. I've always liked Francis, but I never forgave her for clobbering me. Honestly, I don't think he's serious about never forgave her. I mean, he probably uh, had bad feelings on it um, because they got along so well even after. Uh, but that one, everybody's got an instance with somebody that did something to them that they just can't get over, but they're still okay with the person. You know what I mean? Um, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please get those questions in for next Saturday. And... Uh, Please check out Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Today it's on Richard Thomas, who played John Boy on The Waltons. And I know everybody's a Waltons fan, right? Uh, matter of fact, so am I. Here, take a look at this picture. Yep, that's me and my wife with uh, Aaron Walton. Now, she just happened to be a uh, uh, place I worked, had a Christmas party, and looked over, and there she sat. Went over and got a picture taken. And I'm a, this is a small town of 2000, so it's kind of blew my mind a little bit. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, please keep those prayers for Jean coming in. Um, I don't want to get into specifics of what's going on with her, but she really needs the prayers. I mean, really. Uh, so keep them coming. Um, please, if you have not yet, please subscribe to this channel. I'm only like something like... 45 away from 10,000 subscribers. So if you have not yet subscribed, please do. And the shirt makes me look fat, don't it? Um, uh, again, that's all I have for you. Keep them prayers coming for Gene. Have a great day. God bless. Be praying for you.